Hello, viewers out there. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for tuning in to The Variety Show. Uh, please click like, share, and subscribe. Um, this show is going to be about women and men. And later I'll bring commentary about men versus women. But today it's about what the women think that a man should be, how they feel like a man should act, and also uh, how can a woman tell that a man really loves her. Okay, first of all, women, let me tell you one thing you don't do is you don't come after a man. Don't run after a man. Uh, my dad always taught me to just sit still, be a woman, and a man that finds a woman finds a good thing. But if you go around and you go, oh, hi, my name is so-and-so, and then you try to approach that man nine times out of ten, you know what? It may last just for a moment, but it won't last forever. And the reason why, because in the back of that man's mind, he's going to think that the woman that came on to him would do the same thing to another man. So that is a no-no, to put yourself on a man or to run behind a man or to pursue a man. If you like a man and you're in his presence, there are other ways that you can do it without being very forceful and being manly type or being overly aggressive because oftentimes I hear men, uh, when I worked on men for their razor bump treatments and stuff, they would tell me that, um, oh, that woman just turned me off. And I would be like, why? Why did she turn you off? Because she was so aggressive and she came after me. I can't stand for a woman to put herself on a man like that. That is ridiculous. And you know what, nine times out of 10, it doesn't last because, like I said, in the back of his mind, he's going to think, well, if she came at me very forceful, that means how many other men did she do that to? You see what I'm saying? So a woman that wants a man, if you're out and you're in his presence, you can maybe do a smile or even turn your head away. I've always kind of turned away, you know? And if a man wants me, then he's going to be big, bold, and bad enough to come and pursue me as a woman so women just sit still sit still and that right man will eventually come to you and the vibes will be awesome and then you take it from there but when you're overly aggressive hey can i have your number um i need a man and you know uh, can i come to your house or you know i've heard men say that all the time that women would uh, come to their houses and put themselves on them and they'll make like they have something for them to fix in the house and then they just put them to me that appears hungry women please please don't look desperate don't look hungry even if you don't have a man act like you do you know what i'm saying have some class poise and always let a man know that there's always somebody else that wants you but if they see you like crabs in a bucket, just really, really, I mean, I've seen where women have fought over men. It, it could be sisters, and they go out, and they see a man, and they start fighting. Oh, I was talking to him first. Oh, I was talking to him first. Like, hungry type? No, I'd rather be by myself. It's no way I'm going to put myself on a man. I'm going to do just what my daddy said, and so far it has worked. Just being the woman that a man raised me to be. Do not put yourself on no man because if that man wants you, he's coming to get you. A real man, he's coming to get you. But if you go after him, you don't know what you're getting. You're just grabbing somebody. So ladies, 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 let's be careful with that. And that's what this video is about. It's a variety show video and today it's about um, how do I attract a man. And the first thing you do, if you're out and about, you're just going to act like you don't even like him, actually. Actually, you're going to have so much pride about yourself. He's going to see that womanhood and you, that dignity, and that you're not trying to come on to him. And you know what that's going to do? That's going to make him look at you like, oh, um, I think I like her because she's not trying to be a hoochie mama. She's not trying to put herself on me. I mean, I'm just telling you from what I have heard from professional men, classy men, men that really want a good woman. They say when these women run these just after them, after them, after them, that's more like a call girl type syndrome. You know, 
I mean, if a girl is a call girl, that's her job, that's her business. I don't care about all that. All I'm saying is a woman is looking for a good man. Do not be overly aggressive as if you are the man and pursuing this man for his phone number and ask, inviting yourself to his house and putting yourself on him. That is a turn off. Because even with me, it's a turn off if a man did that with me. I don't want no man being a hungry dog on me. I don't. He's got to be very smooth and very cool. That's how a real woman should have it. If a man wants you, let him be smooth and cool. And don't let him come to you running all this game like, hey, baby, look out, baby. Give me your phone number, baby. I want to meet you. And blah, 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 blah. Because the same thing as I said, if a woman did it to a man, that means she's doing it to all the men she meet. And if a man do, do it to a woman, does it to a woman, that means that he's doing it to many women. You don't want that either. So it goes both ways here. So just be classy. And another thing is that um, when a man, when you get with a man and he see that actually it's not like you're trying to put yourself on him, he's going to really put himself on you more, which is what a woman needs, a man to show her affection, a man to show her that he cares. Now, the next thing I was going to say, uh, oftentimes women are like, well, how can you tell if a man really, really loves me? How can you tell? After she's met this perfect man of her dreams, how can you tell if he really, really loves you? Well, you can tell because he would have never changed from the first moment you met him. You know, he wouldn't be fickled. This man, you know how oftentimes when you first meet them and um, they open a car door for you? You know, I mean, people always put their best foot forward. But a real man, he's going to keep his keep his best foot forward, just like a real woman would or should. A real man is going to be that man from the moment you met him. And he's going to never change. Actually, he's going to get better. And that's how the woman should be as well. He's going to get better. He's going to be opening the car doors for you. He's going to treat you. He's going to give you money to go and get your nails done, your hair done. You know, like, baby, I want you to look good for me. He's going to do that. And you don't even have to ask him. But don't take that stuff for granted, ladies. If a man offers you to get your hair done, your nails done, he offers you money, he, he's always dining and wanting you, don't be greedy. Offer him a dinner and say, baby, I got that this time. Don't just be a gold digger. Not if you're looking for a real man. Now, for the women that want to play, that's a whole different... This, this topic is not for you. This is only for women that are really looking to settle down and they're trying to find the man of their dreams. But if you want to be a player, be a player. <laughs> but this show here is about women that probably have already played and men too and they want to find the perfect mate to end their lives with to enjoy their lives with because it's so much going on people are looking for love so it's okay to look for love but just don't look for it in all the wrong places don't be overly aggressive women for no man don't act hungry I mean I see it all the time Women are very, very aggressive with men, and it's not going to last. All, all it's going to do is it's going to get you that quick fix. It's going to get you the quick fix. And in the back of that man's mind, that quick fix that it had gotten you and him, that's going to be it because they feel like you're going to do the same thing with someone else and vice versa with the, even the man too. Because people are out here and with diseases going around, you guys, you want to make sure you are meeting the right person. And there is someone for everyone. My mother taught me that there is always someone for everyone. So don't ever think, ladies, not one bit that there's not that perfect man for you. It's just that you shouldn't run after him like you're hungry to get him. You hold 
on your seat and you stay a lady and a man can pick up on that because even though you may come after a man and he may go for it like I say it's still going to be in the back of his mind oh that woman came after me and she was all aggressive and she wanted to be with me and she wanted to come to my house and she was just trying to take over I've heard this in my business with men all the time and even they even say married women do that to them I'm like, what? Married women are sending new pictures and all of this stuff to men that they just meet. They just meet these people and they're going around sending pictures of themselves and married. They don't know if they're meeting someone that knows their husband. They don't know if this person may blackmail them and send those pictures to their husbands. But I've heard from men that there are a lot of women going around out here that are married and that are not happy at home and are putting themselves out there on men. And they're asking them and telling them, well, I can just play around with you, but I don't want a real relationship. I just need somebody, a companion. Well, how do you think that makes that man feel a classy man? He's not trying to do that and knowing that you're married. So ladies, 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 the only way that will happen is that there's someone that thinks like that, that would do that stuff. And you know what? It's all going to come tumbling down. And that's why we see a lot of killings and murderers, because a lot of times, oftentimes, young women, they marry older men, but they still want a younger guy. And when that older man finds out, that stuff hits the fan, man. It's really sad. I've seen it happen. I really have. So my topic today is ladies hold to your seat. And if you want a man, let him come to you. Don't run after him and make yourself look bad. Don't do that. It may, you may think it's okay. You may uh, feel like he likes you because you did that. But from the men that I know, they tell me it's normally a one night fling because they said, if she did it to me, she'll do it to another man. And a woman just can't do, we can't not do the same thing they do. I had brothers and my mother always said, you can't do what your brothers do. You are a woman. And my dad, he was like, you better sit and be a lady. If a man wants you, you let him come to you. Don't run behind no man and make yourself look silly. Don't do that, you're a lady, a woman, can get just about any man she wants with her class, her poise, and if she's in the environment and their vibes are clicking and ticking, you don't have to even run and say, oh, can I get your phone number? Or oh, I'm gonna slip you a card, even if he's with someone else. That's, let's not do that, ladies, please. Let's not do that, and I'm saying unless you're on that level of consciousness, then that's different. But you will see later on that what I'm telling you right now is real. All of that stuff, it comes to an end. And uh, as my grandmother always said, you keep living, you're going to see some stuff you've never seen before. And I tell you, you guys, I am seeing it. So with that, I'm going to end my show. And I'll be coming back with some more uh, things about uh, relationships and just a variety of things on this channel. And I really, really really would like for you to click like, share, and subscribe and tell your friends all about uh, the Variety Show. And I'll be coming back with more commentary about relationships. So please click like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for tuning in to the Variety Show. And I'll see you next time. Remember, ladies, stay to your seat and let him come to you and it will work out just fine. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to click that like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.